This is Phil Bell on The Daily Mojo with your morning update. Let me tell you a little story. About a year ago, I went to the office of Senator J.D. Vance, and I went there because I wanted to express my opposition to the Railway Safety Act of 2023. Now, if you followed me for any length of time, you know the Railway Safety Act of 2023 is terrible legislation. It's nothing more than a giveaway to unions and other special interests and has absolutely nothing to do with railway safety. And I made this point to Senator Vance's chief of staff. But the senator's chief of staff told me that they often write legislation that gives the ability of administrative agencies to make whatever rules they want. Now, we as conservatives know this is a bad thing, and we know it's a bad thing because these administrative agencies are frequently populated with the far left, and even if they weren't, because they are unelected, they are not accountable to we the people. Well, recently, we received a great victory at the Supreme Court, which is going to help bolster this. And that was the overruling of the Chevron deference standard. Now, Chevron deference simply said that the courts would have to defer to the administrative agencies and their own interpretation of the rules, such as those that Senator Vance's chief of staff was going to allow the Department of Transportation to make. But now these interpretations must be determined by the courts. And this is a great win because even though the courts are not perfect, as we know quite well, at least that gives us the opportunity to make our case before an independent arbiter as opposed to an administrative agency that's simply going to do whatever it wants because that's what it has decided. So kudos to the Supreme Court for upholding that. And I have to wonder, why is it that Senator Vance is so willing to give so much power to administrative agencies considering that we know frequently they will be overrun by the far left and have values inconsistent with those that we the people believe in. Now, what you can do to help stop this is make sure that you have the Daily Mojo app downloaded to your smartphone and notifications enabled. That way we'll keep you posted on everything that's happening in the administrative agencies as well as with your elected officials so that you can have your voice. We'll see you tomorrow and I hope you have a great day. Phil Bell's morning update is only on the Daily Mojo.com.